Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today I have a bunch of spring DIYs for you. So let's jump in. Project number one. I have this wood blank that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's gorgeous guys. It's so gorgeous. So anyway, I cut out this stencil using my Cricut and I am going to just measure the board and try to get everything as centered as I can. Now, because of the way I cut it with my Cricut, I had to kind of squeeze the wording in so that I could just use the one 12 by 12 sheet. So I had to cut everything apart and kind of piecemeal it onto this wood blank, but it still turns out amazing if I do say so myself. <laughs> So here I'm just trying to get all of the vinyl um, as level as I can um, and as centered as I can. Now, because of the way I cut the vinyl, I had to use some painter's tape because there wasn't enough um, of a border and I was worried that I would get the paint outside of the words and outside of the border. So I'm just going to add a little bit of tape and then I'm going to go in with my um, rich black from folk art and a stencil brush brush sorry from essential stencils and i am going to just um yeah there's the rich black right there and i'm just going to uh paint in the stencil
And then while it's still a little wet, I am going to rip off all of the tape and the stencil um, because I was afraid that if I let it dry that I would end up pulling up some of the paint with it. Now I'm taking the Mesa, no I'm not, that's not it. It's the Earthy Rose and I am just going to stencil in the word flowers. Um, now when I was looking at it like in person, it didn't look like this pink was showing up all that well. So I made an adjustment, um, but for now, here's the earth pink, earthy rose. That's it. Oh my good gracious. So what I did was I took a, um, a gel pen from uh, Arteza and I just traced around the border of the word flowers in black and then I used some rose gold like metallic paint and now I'm using these essential stencils. I am not sponsored in any way by them, but I just love their products. I do have a link in my description box. It's always there if you are interested in any of their stencils or rub-on transfers. Uh, they're amazing. Um, I do earn a small commission, but it is not coming out of your pocket. So, Anyway, I'm taking these rub-on transfers that I absolutely love and I am just going to start adding them to this uh, wood blank until it makes me happy. <laughs> And that's 
really all there is for this one. I just absolutely adore how this came out. These transfers are just amazing. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this one. So this video is part of the Hello Spring Open playlist. It is hosted by Tammy from The Rusted Willow and Ellie from DIY from House to Home. And their special guest this month is Fanny from Creations by Favi. These ladies are so incredibly talented and such sweet, beautiful people. I will have their links as well as the playlist in my description box down below. When you're done with my video, head on down to the playlist and check everybody out and let them know I sent you. Okay, let's get back to the crafts. Project number two. I have this crate from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using my snowbank, mesa pink, and sandstone terracotta paints from Folk Art. I love them if you haven't noticed. Now, I forgot to hit the record, but I just took some vinyl that I cut out using my Cricut and added it to the front of the crate. Now, I'm taking some of this boxwood that I got from Walmart, and I'm just going to cut off a few pieces and add them to the top of the crate. So before I put the greenery up there, I'm just going to take my um, jute twine I got from the Dollar Tree and I just made a simple finger bow. Now I do have a slowed down version in one of my last videos. I'll try to link it in the cards above so you can check it out if you uh, would like to learn. So, <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to hot glue the greenery up on the top and then I will follow that with the bow. Then I'm just going to take some of these little flower heads that I got from Timu and I got three different colors and I'm just going to add those to the top, right on top of the greenery. And that's it for this one. I think it's so sweet. It's so like dainty looking. I don't know. I think it's so adorable. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, project number three. I have this picture. It came in a two pack from Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance and all I'm going to do is take my dusk, dusk, dusk. I'm going to take my dusk paint and my uh, Adirondack white, and I am going to paint this, as you can see here. <laughs> my video is going faster than my words, but now I have this saying that I cut out using my Cricut and I am just so the S is huge um, I wanted it huge so <laughs> I just took that off without any vinyl um, not any vinyl any transfer tape and I'm just kind of placing it down and then I'll use the transfer tape for everything else
And now that I have all the vinyl down, I am taking some more of those rub-on transfers from Essential Stencil, and I am just going to embellish or decorate the blank spaces around the vinyl. And that's it. I added a couple butterflies and I think this is so pretty and is such a good thing to remember. Uh, yeah, some change can be so beautiful. So anyway, I love this saying. I love how this picture came out. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, project number four. I have this wood round I got from Michaels. It was 18 inches. I took my antique wax from Waverly and I just went over it with a coat of that. Once that's all dry, I am just gonna take some painter's tape and mark off some areas that I am going to change the color of. So. I'm just making sure that the measurements are right. I want it to be as even as I can possibly get it. And I think I accomplished it. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. So I took the Mesa pink and I'm just showing you for some reason that color was very streaky with like an orangey color. I'm not sure, but still beautiful. So the Mesa pink and then I took the Dusk from Waverly. The pink, I'm sorry, is the folk art terracotta paint. So once that's done, before it dries completely, I just pulled off the tape. Now I have this stencil that I cut out. It just simply says, hello spring. And I was going to put it in the center, but then I decided I wanted to put it off center a little bit. So I went over to the right side of the round, as you'll see in just a moment.
Now I just kind of go over all of the stencil just to make sure everything is pushed down so that there is no bleed through. And then I just dip my stencil brush in the paint and offload some onto the paper towel. And I am going over the stencil in a circular motion. Um, I did see that on the Essential Stencil website and it works for me. So even with these stencils, I typically have bleed through, but when I do the circular motion, somehow, some way, it doesn't bleed through. So I am not gonna question it, I'm just gonna do it. So here we are. I do go over this two times because I wanted it to be very, very bright. So I do the, the white paint, then I'm going to take my heat gun and dry it, and then I go over it again. Here, you can see. See, I bet you guys thought I was just going to cover that up, huh? You thought I was just going to put the cover on? Mm, I did too, actually. <laughs> I thought that I didn't record it, but here it is. Here's the second coat, and then I'm just going to peel off the uh, stencil vinyl before it dries completely. Then I have some of this like burlap and lace ribbon I got from Michaels. It was on clearance uh, a couple years ago, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double bow that I will. So ugh, let me start over. <laughs> I'm going to make a double bow. So I have the... Uh, first strip and then I'm going to cut off a shorter strip and then I'm just going to find the center in both of them fold it in half and then I will layer it up I'll do the awareness ribbon scrunch it in the center and then tie it off with some jute twine and then of course like always I will uh, cover up the jute twine with another small piece of this ribbon. I do also dovetail the, um, the tails, the ends of the tails, and then I just take it and I kind of pinch it so it gives it like a wavy kind of effect. And I am just going to do that before I glue it into place. Now I have some of these pieces of eucalyptus that I got from Timu and I grabbed six of them, three going one way, three going the other. And then I just like overlapped it a little bit and I'm sorry, I'm out of frame again. Um, but I just take some jute and I wrap it around the six pieces and that keeps them together and also gives me something to um, attach to the wood. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. <laughs> You'll see in just a minute.
there. It just gave it a little more meat to hold on to. And then I just glued the bow right into place on top of the eucalyptus. And then I have some of these peonies from Timu as well. And I'm just going to hot glue a few uh, around the bow area. And then I'm going to add some to the bottom left side of the wood round, as well as just some greenery. And I, I don't know, I feel like that kind of balanced out the bottom part of the picture. You'll see in just a minute. <laughs> And that's it for this one. I love this. I think this one might just be my favorite of the video. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, project number five. All right, this one might be my favorite. I don't know, maybe it's a toss up, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I got this ladder from Michael's. It was 70% off. I got it uh, in their Christmas clearance stuff. There were two of them, I grabbed them both. And some Waverly antique wax, and I'm just going over the entire ladder. Now I got these ivy vines from Timu. It came in like a pack of 20 or something. And then these pit berries I got from Amazon. They should be in my storefront down below um, in my description box. So what I'm gonna do is I took the um, ivy, I folded it in half, and I'm just gonna hot glue the two ends to the top part of the vine i mean the ladder and then i'm just going to kind of weave it around one side of the ladder across one of the rungs and then down the other side of the ladder
once those are all glued into place, I'm just going to take a few pieces. So there's like three um, like bouquets, if you will, of these pit berries. And you just kind of unwind it and yeah, you end up with a few. So I'm just going to take two or three, I think two. Yeah, I'm winding it around and then I'm going to take one of my giant uh, uh, glue, the hot glue. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my words today. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm just wrapping it around the hot glue stick and then I am going to just kind of make a circle out of it. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for a design, but I just made like a circle and then I just kind of tacked it to the ladder so that it didn't like flop around too, too much. Then I'm going to take some more and I'm just wrapping it in like around my hand. Um, and I am just going to hang that on the opposite side of the ladder. And then I'm going to take some of this pink, um, it's like a burlap ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I made one, two, three loops. And then I made one that was like the awareness ribbon. Um, I'm not great at <laughs> making bows. So this is how I did it. And then I'm just going to take a bit of twine. I'm going to cinch it in the center and then just tie it off in the back. Once it's all tied off and I've fluffed it out a little bit, I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and add that to the ladder. And then I'm going to tack the tails down, one on that top rung and one on the side of the ladder. Then I have this beautiful, it's like a twine and like the leaves are like silky, the pink. Um, I'm, I can't remember where I got it. I think from BB Crafts, but I'm not 100% on that. So I've had it for quite a while and just haven't used it until now. So I'm just going to cut off a piece and then I'm just making a bow and then I am going to tack that to the center of the pink bow and tack the tails onto the tails of the pink bow as well. And then I took some of the peonies that I got from Timu and I am going to just kind of embellish this ladder with the peonies and the other little greenery and flower pieces that go along with them.
And that's it for this piece. I think this is so gorgeous. I am so in love with this ladder. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So I would like to thank Tammy and Ellie and Fanny for hosting this awesome playlist. I love this playlist so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they will push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you in the next one.